Hey there, it's Benjamin from Love Starter. Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to move properties in Google Analytics. If you're not familiar with the account hierarchy in Google Analytics, you have your Google Analytics account uh, here in the admin section. We can see that in the left column. Then in the center column, we have the property. And on the right hand side, because this particular property is a universal analytics property, we can see there's a view column on the right. Now, I do want to highlight if you're using the latest version of Google. Google Analytics, which is GA4 or Google Analytics 4, you'll only have the account column on the left and the property column in the center. Now, the next step is if you need to move a property. Now, you might be wondering, well, why would I need to move a Google Analytics property? The most common reason is if the property has been set up incorrectly or by accident in an account that it wasn't meant to be. For example, maybe the property was set up in your personal account when really it should have been set up in the business or organization account. So to move the property, you need to select property settings here in my GA4 property. And then on the top right hand corner, if you do have edit permission, you can then click on move property. From there, you can select the particular account that you want to move the property to. So in this particular case, my GA4 property is in the Love Starter demo account. So I'm going to select the demo to account to move it. Then we need to choose the permissions for the property. So this is about who currently has access to the property in Google Analytics. So for example, if we leave the default, which is keep existing property permissions, anybody that say has edit level permission for the property will then continue to have that level of permission in the new account. However, someone who has edit permission at the account level, once the property is moved, will only have that level of permission at the individual property level once it's moved, just to make sure that they don't automatically get complete access to the new account that it's being moved into. The other option is to replace the existing property permissions, and this will mean that only people who have permission in the new property will be able to gain access to the property after it's moved. So I'm going to leave the default option. Then we also need to agree that we have permission to move the property. And after we've selected this option, we can then click on start move. We can then see that there's a warning saying that the data sharing settings are different and that the data sharing settings from the account that we're moving it into will then override any data sharing settings that have been set for this existing property. So we can click on confirm and then we can see that Google is telling us it can take a few minutes for the property to move. So we're going to click on go to home now. Now I can see in this demo account, in the first demo account, my GA4 property has now been moved, so now I'm only left with my Universal Analytics property. So let's uh, now move the Universal Analytics property. It's really the same steps. So we click on Property Settings for Universal Analytics. And then on the top right, I can click on Move Property. And again, we can select the account that we want to move the property to. We select the permissions for the users of the property, and then agree to the terms and save the move. So we can now see my demo account is empty. There's no Google Analytics properties and no Universal Analytics reporting views either. So now let's head to the second account that we moved them to and we should start to see the properties coming in. So here's the existing one and there I can see the one that I just moved, the GA4 property and the third property, my Universal Analytics property hasn't come through yet. Again, it can take a few minutes before you see the property in the account that you've moved it to. So that's how you can move a property in Google Analytics, including GA4 properties, Google Analytics 4 properties, as well as Universal Analytics. If you found this video helpful, then please like it so I know to make more videos like this one and I'll see you in the next video.